we're going to um, learn how to measure distances on an ordnance survey map and um, we're going to go from this spot here where there's little churches and this junction on this green road here and we're going to go along here around the corner over these roundabouts to where it goes off the map here. Okay. First thing you do, you get your piece of paper, you might get a white piece of paper, I've just chosen a colourful bit here just for clarity and you write in the corner start. Okay and then you put the start where you want to start and basically what you're doing is you're getting these curvy bits, the bendy bits in the road onto a straight piece of paper. So you start there and you see the road has disappeared off the back there, so pin it there and then move it and find the road again. That's there, pin it before you move it. Pin it quite hard otherwise the piece of paper will jog around and get the wrong answer. Pin it, move it, you get lucky you get nice long straight bits like that, pin it, move it. Get the idea? Pin it, move it. Round about there, pin it, move it. Pin, move, pin, move. Don't be in a hurry, just take it easy and just make sure it's accurate. Pin it, move, pin, move. Pin it. And to the end, and mark the end, end. Okay. Now, we need to find out what that distance actually means on a map. So what we've done is we put that uh, wiggly road onto a straight piece of paper. So now we're going to go down to the bottom of the map and find the scale. Okay, here's the scale on the bottom of your map. This is a 1 to 50,000 map, scale map, 2 centimetres is 1 kilometre. What I personally do, uh, because the questions are always in kilometres nowadays, is I just rub out the miles just to save a bit of confusion. Right, so I've got to find out the distance from the start to the end there, that, that distance there basically on my blue piece of paper using this scale. Uh, you can either go that way, you can go this way. Uh, this way's got little graduations to make it a bit more accurate, so I'm going to go this way. Okay, I'm going to start at the end and work towards the start. All right, make sure your end of your measurement is just exactly on zero and mark them off. One kilometer, two kilometers. Move, unfortunately the scale doesn't go any further, so you've got to move it back to zero. Make sure it's exactly on here. Three, four kilometers. Move it along again. Four plus one is five. One is six. And then we've got this little bit here, we've got to work out what that is. Okay, so go from where six was back to the zero bit there and it's 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, almost 0.5. Okay, so let's call it 6.5, 6.5 kilometers. Okay, and that's your distance. Hopefully that's nice and clear. Uh, best way to um, get better at this is to get yourself an ordnance survey map or download one from Digimaps for Schools if you've got a subscription to that and just practice measuring distances. Most mistakes are made down here when you're transferring your, 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 scale, your distance along your piece of paper onto the actual scale here. So do be careful there. Okay, thanks for watching.